Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your boy Takedown Man, and I am back with another episode. And on this episode, guys, we have six new sites. That's right, six new sites. Some of them just kind of random. Other ones kind of, well, don't really know what to call them. <coughs> but they are, uh, they're definitely different. So we're going to go and check out this first one. This first one's called Lobsters. And this is what Lobsters is, is just a gang of stuff. They, it is an onion, but it has really weird content, I guess the best way to put it. I'm not really sure what all is on it because I haven't looked at everything. As you can see, boom, I am on tour. So, for everybody who's like, you're not on tour. Yeah, I am. All right. But it also has some protocol humor. I mean, it has a little bit of everything on it. And that's what kind of makes it cool is that it has a lot of different stuff on it. Now, some of you might know better than me what Lobsters is. This is my first time ever actually going on it, so I have no idea. But it seemed pretty cool to me, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. And I will be sure to share the link in the description, as well as pretty much all the links tonight. Because most of them, even though some of them are pretty damn disturbing, um, yeah, they're definitely showable. All right, guys, so the next one we're going to look at is going to be 8chan. Now, I know a lot of you guys are like, well, 8chan's on, you know, the surface web. Well, yes, they also have an onion. For those of you who don't know, <clears throat> I know a lot of people do know, though, but yeah. But this right here, the onion I'm going to put up is just all the boards and stuff to actually get you guys, well, going. So, yeah. This way you can actually check out 8chan on the onion. And I know some of my people like to go on 8chan and talk a lot of smack. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you don't know what 8chan is, you're not missing much. And I know 8chan's going to bash me for that, but whatever. You've already bashed me, so I don't really give a shit. Okay, guys, on the next one. This one right here is a, a global news source. And they're actually showing real news I mean it's a lot better than watching Fox News and all them other well controlled media companies that are controlled by the government so yeah so as you can see here there's a lot of info there's a lot of stories on here this one right here is a very interesting story actually which is why I brought this one up versus just bringing up the home page but I will give you the, the direct link to this one here. Sorry, guys, if I'm stumbling and stammering on my fucking words. I had planned on doing this earlier, but yeah. So if you guys are wondering why I sound so fucked up, that's why. I'm not drinking. I'm just pissed. All right, guys. So on the next one here, this is a library. There are lots and lots and lots of books on here. These are by the Readers Against DMCA. You guys know anything? I have showed it before. And they have a lot of books. And a lot of them, I brought up the um, bookshelf here that has all the genres of what's what on here. So that you guys can actually take a look and see. So yeah. Now... So that way you guys understand this ain't one of those kind of sites on the deep web. So you see something like that or something like, where is it? Oh, right there. It's not uh, what it normally would mean on the deep web. Thought I would just share that with you guys. Once again, the link will be in the description. So let's go to the next one. Now, this site right here is an entertainment purposes only site before we go any further but it talks about all the different ways for someone to kill themselves um from well regularly yeah regular suicide to assisted suicide yeah i just bit my tongue god damn it okay anyways if you want to off yourself it gives you a lot of different ways to do it here but this is for entertainment and research purposes only so yeah uh, legally, I have to tell you, don't kill yourself. But if you're a useless human being, and especially if you're a pedo or a rapist or a murderer, just saying, this is a good website. 
even though legally I can't tell you to do anything on here. So I'm telling you to not do it. Wink, wink. Okay, guys. So um, we're going to go on here to the last one and kind of most disturbing one. This is called Scum, the Society for Cutting Up Men. That's right. These women hate men. And bitch, we hate you. Trust me. But still, we're just going to go over this real quick because i got a little bit of time that I can go over it. But either way, it says life in this society being at best an utter bore and no aspect of society being at all relevant to women. There remains a civic-minded, responsible, thrill-seeking female only to overthrow the government, eliminate the money system, institute complete automation, and destroy the male sex. Now, of course, she thinks it would be a perfect world if no men were in it. I'm going to take it you're a lesbian. Oh, I'm going to get some hate for that shit, but I don't really care. I am not PC principal, if you can tell. I really could give a shit. But either way, um, yeah, if you want to destroy the male sex, then try it. But there's a reason why, you know, you're a piece of shit on here, but yeah. I don't know, stuff like this just gets me mad because it's funny to see how they think that they have figured it all out and they ain't figured shit out. But either way, no, I'm not hating on women. I'm just hating on this bitch in particular and anyone who thinks like her. But yeah, and it says now technically possible to reproduce without the aid of males or for that matter, females and produce only females. We must begin immediately to do so. The male is a biological accident. The Y male gene is an incomplete X female gene. That is, has an incomplete set of chromosomes. Okay. In other words, the male is an incomplete female. A walking abortion aborted at the gene stage. To be male is to be deficient, emotionally lim limited. Maleness is a deficiency disease and males are emotional cripples. The male is completely egocentric, trapped inside himself. I'll give that bitch that. I, I kind of am. Incapable of emphasizing or identifying with others. Um, of love, friendship, affection, and tenderness. Which isn't exactly true. It's just certain people. Like me. He is completely isolated, unit, incapable of rapport with anyone. His responses are entirely visceral, not cerebral. His intelligence is a mere tool in the service of his drives and needs. He is incapable of mental passion, mental interaction. He can't relate with anything other than his own physical sensations. He is a half-dead, unresponsive lump, incapable of giving or receiving pleasure or happiness. Consequently, he is at best an utter bore yeah, I'm really going to take it you're a lesbian, a man-hitting lesbian, an inoffensive blob. Well, hopefully you keep believing I'm, I'm inoffensive. Um, since only those capable of absorption in others can be charming. He is trapped in a twilight zone halfway between humans and apes. And it's far worse than the apes. Unlike the apes, he is capable of a large army of negative feelings, hate, jealousy, content, disgust, guilt, shame, doubt, and more. He is aware of what he is or isn't. Okay, on this part right here, I'm just, yeah, yeah, I, I, I know I'm just showing off a website, but I want to talk on that real quick. I find it funny because whenever I hang around females, this is actually what comes up with them more than men. Most guys, we're not jealous of each other. We don't have contempt for each other. Um, we don't have shame for each other. And we really don't ever talk on each other's body types unless if we're hating on each other. Now, now if we got a problem with one another, then yeah, we're going to find every flaw the other guy has and we're going to fucking put him down and then we're going to beat his ass if you know the ass whipping's coming. So I don't really know what she's trying to say here because females have more problems with that than men. Yeah, at least the ones I've been around and most of my friends. So, yeah, 
But either way, though, you can keep reading this. This is, uh, it's pretty entertaining, to be honest with you. See, like I said, here you go. Boom, boom, boom. And as you, I mean, as you can see, it's just, I don't know. It just, I don't know. This uh, person here has some serious daddy issues and is probably a man-hitting lesbian because she has daddy issues. And Yeah. Holy shit. There is a lot to read on here, so I will just let you guys take a look at it later because I'm not even a tenth down the page. Oh, boy. She really had a lot of time on her hands. But either way, guys, this is your boy, Takedown Man, just saying thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And hopefully by next time, my voice will come back and I won't be so mad. So, yeah, that's yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Just uh, peace out. Mahalo. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, sticking with me. I'm in a new place now, as you can tell. So, with that being said, I will uh, be recording more, hopefully. And I will run motherfuckers out if I got to to record for you guys. Because, yeah, it's been a long time coming. And it's time that we start getting back on the deep web and everything else. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Peace.